You got a call to put in your request. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a triangle about, but did you know that they call roundabouts rumpa? It's known in Norwegian, but, and the famous but is who this bridge is named after. Not Kim Kardashian or Nicki Minaj. You can actually see this super ornate bridge in disrepair right now. It was made in 1915. Not Archibald Butt, but a different guy it looks like. Still pretty cool rock formation. Dennis Cahill drown while trying to save kids that were drowning. This is the Augusta Canal. The same canal James Brown was breathing through a cane through. Wonder if boats still drive up and down this thing. This is a bridge named after Archibald Butt, who, alongside being the aide-de-camp to many a president, Theodore Roosevelt and William H. Taft, he also lost his life in the Titanic, saving women and children on April 15th. 1912. A Save the Buck campaign was made a couple of years ago to save this bridge from being destroyed. And it looks like they're uh, doing plastic, uh, plastic surgery. That butt will look fine as new with its new implants. Yes, that's my answer right there. Boats still do come down this bit. Wow. Look at that guy, huh? It's gotta be a boat tour of some sort. Yeah, you can see her with a microphone. They could barely fit underneath it. <laughs> There's another one on this side. Maybe this one's named after a famous tit. Because there are at least 1,848 people with that last name. We got Maria tits. Bitch tits. Oh, I really want that to be a last name. Come on, please. Please. Is that a real name? People got a sense of humor, I tell you what. There's even a couple with the last name Boobies. <laughs> This one combined the names. This guy's named Tits Boobies. <laughs> or Zelda Boobies. I don't know if these are real names, but uh, if they are, God bless you. Got a hairy dick here. Professional ice hockey player. I got a challenge for you guys. I see these challenges going all over the place. I like to take part. Let's see if we can find the most famous worst name ever. This guy has to have some sort of achievement, but he's got to have an awful name. What can you come up with? Try as he would, though, there was never any hair on his butt. He was Archibald forever. <laughs> Random clothes left there. But imagine if they did make a bridge solely on butts, just one speed bump after the other. Hey, I'm Roadside Rick. Welcome to my tangential travels. Ooh, that one was way too far. Enjoying the sun? Or the moon, it looks like the moon's across your eye. Are you more of a night bird? It's like this place, just like the TV show has ended. A touch of class. Speaking of roundabouts, this one looks like a pretty good one. Cobblestone, and you've even got the old train tracks. And the history center. Bunch of golfers over here too. Here's Arnold Palmer. If you ever had a dream, this is what's named after. Got a museum with only $2, so. Why not? This is a bottle holder. Shaped as a toy tiger. Would have been used during prohibition. The hood and rope people would be hanged with. Or used in the hanging of Arthur Mayer. Damn. <laughs> I was almost scared. I thought this guy was an actual person. Look at that. Back in the day. All the radio bits. Play him here and here. Got all the records to play on the wall. Someone makes a request. This guy will play it for you. Oh, you want to play the donkey roll? Let me see that donkey roll. We even roll, bro? Helmets. Reminds me of like Save It Private Ryan. <laughs> Dang. Look at that MRE. I have to be thankful for my freedom. Not everybody's free. And these guys right here fought for our freedom. Died for our freedom. Always gotta remember, I know I say it a lot, but it doesn't make it any less true. Wow. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this thing. That's a serving bowl. It's where you can get your jungle juice on. 
with all these other USS Augusta and all the guys that would have been on it. It's good to see all the seamen on the poop deck. Hey, have you heard the word? You know, the bird word. Man, I don't know Bo Diddley. <laughs> ha ba ba ba. We were just at the Augusta Canal and this is the making it. In 1845. Former railroad workers and slaves made it. It's crazy what a man can do. Didn't know horses pulled trolley cars out. That's something new to me. But the main reason I came in here, because I heard they have a stellar James Brown section. Look at that thing. Damn. Mr. Brown's reprised his role as the Reverend Clanopius James in the movie sequel, Blues Brothers. And this is it. His royal ass sat right there. That whatever he, anybody else can do, you can do. You can accomplish it. And the mind is a terrible thing to waste. Very true. And that uh, the legend lives on. I want to say to you, help yourself so that you can help someone else. Cup of the toilet trees. He was even diabetic, it looks like. My grandfather's diabetic. Wonder if they have any of his PCP stuff here. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Remember how he said he shined shoes? Well, this is the actual shoe signing stand he would have people sit in on 9th Street. <sighs> he wore the suit and those boots that were made for walking. And I'm assuming that's just what they did. This is the cape all sequined out for the godfather of soul. <sighs> Not in bronze, that one. That's a lot better. Right. Went crazy on the bedazzle kit there. From the Department of Defense. From his time in Vietnam. And there's the cape. Not the same cape, but... Looks like that cape tradition's been going strong for a long time. Upon his death, he also got an honorary doctorate. They even gave him a cap and gown. There's him unveiling it. And this street. Before James Brown ever stepped foot, this place was inhabited for 12,000 years. Carve yourself a boat and go down it. Live in a hut made out of palm tree leaves. Make a fire, have some food, get some uh, nuts. Julia Dent had the first black owned funeral parlor in 1888 until her husband died. Then she remarried Israel Brown. James Brown ancestor? There the dead lie. In an old casket. In an old bucky. Look at that thing. That's how it used to be. You didn't have the uh, old gust Ghostbuster look. This was it. And before that, he used to just be put down on a ship. Shipped down the sea. They can even do your Lord of the Rings style. Just light you on fire and ship you down the Another cotton scale. This place is absolutely massive. It's, it's, in, it's incredible. Look at this. Come on. Another wagon wheel. Oh, really? This was a fire engine. Like I even did some charred bits down the bottom. Great theming. All burnt wood. Had a fireplace fire? Well, that's what it looked like. A steam fire engine. 1869. God damn. Beautiful. Yeah, this place has me on awesome overload. There's just too much in here, and it's only two dollars. Look at this. Come on, a full train, and not only a train, but a trolley car as well. Old signage. Come on. Baseball uniforms. I don't know what the Yankees are doing over here. I don't know about you, but I still like the Savannah Bananas. I took a ride to one of these guys. One of the original. This was one of my first vlogs. And one of these guys. There's the crew right there. You see the trolley tracks in use like they used to be. That's how you get your electricity for this guy. That's how it works. This thing right here connects to the wires on top. They give it electricity. Jesus. Come on. I feel like this. Oh. Back in the day, 
Hey, foam boat. Look at that thing. That's a fire extinguisher for 1910. Whoever did this should get like a bunch of awards, dude. Where's my ticket? Good. Good. All right. Not only do they have a train, but you can also get inside it. Done up the way it would have been all the way back then. Wow. Here's the move. Looks like it's being pulled by a truck. Sometimes I wish Westworld was a real thing, so I could just go back and see this in real time. This guy's from 1914, and the passenger car's from 1920. The coal tender carries 15 tons of coal and 10,800 gallons of water. What better way to end? Wide open. They're blowing his horn. And they, they got, they listen, the music too loud, that's it. Yeah, yeah, you're done. I mean, there's, yeah, I mean, come on. Plus they back it out in the train coming. Oh yeah, I mean, that thing is like 200 tons, nothing. Okay. Yeah. You, you, you just like cotton to it. <laughs> Guy who puts the cape on James Brown is her godfather. The woman I was talking to in there. And here's a train station. Always interesting what you could learn from absolute strangers. Found a nice place to edit right here. Anyways, remember to talk to strangers, and I'll see you tomorrow.